hopefully one of these perfumes will be just for you. Hey beautiful people, how are you today? Um, it's the most beautiful day I can feel. Spring is finally in the air. And I wanted to share with you some perfumes. It's my five favourite perfumes that um, I've used for quite some time, apart from one that's only just come out. And um, it's, just, it's interesting, isn't it? Because you see the perfumes in the magazines and you don't really, can, can't really get a feel of whether or not they're going to suit you. So hopefully I um, can help you with that. And where do you spray your perfume? Right underneath where you spray your perfume. I've did a bit of research and apparently you should be, we should be spraying it under the ear, behind the ears, on the elbow, behind the knees, on the belly button. <laughs> and on the wrist, so it's like places where there's a lot of heat. And if you've got skin, my skin's super dry, so I put it on, half an hour later, it's gone. So I put it on, maybe I, maybe it does still smell, but as far as I'm concerned, it's gone. So if you have oily skin, uh, perfume's gonna stay on your skin for longer. Right, I'm gonna start off with my first one, Narcissus Rodriguez. I don't know how to say it, it's Eau de Musk. And I got this in the airport at JFK. I've seen, I don't know if you can get it in the UK, but um, I did see it on eBay. And I, no, I did see it on Amazon, but it's the most wonderful musky smell. It's kind of um, got like a powdery scent to it. And this is almost, to me, it's like a body spray. So straight out of the shower, body spray over. I can never find the hole. I think the hole should be like red, because I'm always searching, searching for it. So I like to come out of the shower, spritz, spritz all over. And I just love um, the way this looks. It's kind of like a mirrored bottle. And it's got, it, it is um, musky, but it's got that wonderful powdery. It's kind of like fresh out of the, the shower smell. And it's called Eau de Musk. Um, and it's, and it's, it's powdery, it's woody, it's musky, but it's very feminine. It's very feminine. It does have some slight floral undertones, but basically it is very feminine scent. And I like this as the first layer straight from the shower. So I wouldn't actually say this is kind of like my just basic perfume on off I go, but it's definitely um, something that's great straight out of the shower. Now my second perfume, so this was in, this was in LAX. So I always buy a perfume when I fly. Um, and of course you have to make sure that it's a small size. So this is 100 mil. And I saw this. And some of you may think Chanel number no. five. Chanel number no. five to me is a scent which it's it's very heavy. It's very it's very French, it's very, very French, very French. Um, and for me, it doesn't work. It just doesn't work with my skin. So when I saw the number five, I it said new number five, and I said, "What is that?" And she said, "Well, it's a new scent, and it's made. It's it's for." It's a new scent, and they wanted to make it younger and fresher. So this is called Number Five Low Chanel. So not just because it's eau de toilette, which it is, and the last one is, um, but it's Low Chanel. So it's um, it's much lighter. So it still comes in the same kind of trademark bottle, but it's fresh. It's fresh. It's floral and it's citrusy, and it's quite expensive. <laughs> It's um, 100 millilitres, I have to get back to you how much it was. I'll write everything down underneath. But it was quite pricey, but oh my God, it smells so good. It's nice when you get um, a sort of fresh smell with citrus. You've got a bit of citrus and a bit of floral and and it's very musky. It's, it's got very musky. I quite like those musky, not big masculine musky scents, but just, it's always first you get that alcohol smell, don't you, when you spray it on. And then underneath it, you get a beautiful citrusy and you've got lemon, and mandarin, and like grapefruit smells. Just very fresh. So I say it's more of a summery perfume, but every time I've worn this, someone comes up to me and says, excuse me, where did you get your perfume from? So Chanel number no. five, it's the low, it's different. Do be careful when you're buying it that you don't buy the old one. Number five, Chanel, delicious. This airport buy was um, not not uh, not JFK, Newark, Newark. 
I just done a job, um, Bakers. I've just done a job in New York, Bakers versus Bakers, and I was flying from Newark to LAX, and I saw this. First of all, I fell in love with the bottle. <laughs> You know, I don't even know what this one's called. It's just Tory Burch. I think it's her first scent, isn't it? And it's an eau de parfum. Mm. And 50 ml cost me 60 pounds. This is slightly different uh, to the other two. I'd say it's more of a boyish smell. So sometimes I like to be quite feminine and um, feminine and all dressed in a dress. And then sometimes I like to be a tomboy. So this is great for that. This has got like vetiver scents and neroli and, and tuberose to so kind of stronger scents it's not being able to smell it now and oh it smells good even straight out of the bat straight out beautiful and I you know I was looking at the internet the other day and I got all caught up in all the fashion magazines and all the clothes and that it's all about frills or florals the frayed jean um, it's all about mixing, it's all about layering, it's about embroidery and I got so caught up in it like oh my god I don't have half this stuff and you know the six looks you must be having now and, and I bought a whole lot of stuff on the internet, I bought a whole lot of stuff on the internet which I do not need and I did take a lot of it back. I bought so much the other day from um, Zara that uh, I put 25 items in my, sorry my this is flashing going on, there were 25 items in my shopping cart online and I tried to put a 26th item in and do you know what it said? Sorry, your shopping basket is full. How can a, a virtual shopping basket be full? Anyway, that was a kind of sign that perhaps I've gone too far. Went to Zara, ordered it at Zara, ordered it online, tried it on at Zara and 23 items went back. So the reason I'm saying this is because I got sucked in and I love all those beauty and fashion magazines don't get me wrong and I and I get a lot of uh, advice and help from them but and there's a reason and it's connected to the perfume so stay with me um, but it's very easy to get sucked in and we can buy loads of products and things that maybe we don't actually need and we can't actually afford and we can get sucked in to buy things because they're fashionable rather than because we really like we really like them it's nice to treat ourselves, and, I'm, and I did keep some of that stuff, but I also think a way of feeling good about ourselves, because it's all about inner self, it doesn't matter how many clothes you've got, it's all about feeling good on the inside. And I think when I smell nice, when I've got a scent, I think buying a perfume that lasts for such a long time is a good investment to make ourselves feel better, rather than going and buying a whole wardrobe of embroidery and frilly arm jumpers that we don't actually really like. <laughs> So buy, buy, have a few scents, and you know, I feel so um, makes me feel really confident when I when I put my favourite scent on, and I feel like I'm treating myself and doing something good for myself. I know I spent a little bit of money on it, but it's only a little spritz, and it lasts for such a long time. I've had this for several months, so yeah, this is more of a tom tomboy scent. Yeah, anyway. In short, don't get sucked in and buy things that you don't really like. That's my message to myself. Maybe you can relate. This is a more yeah neroli tuberose. I'd say, I'd probably say, maybe quite nice for the evening, maybe quite nice for the evening, yes. But the next one I say is definitely better for the evening. Uh, this has actually run out, I've got a tiny drop left, and this is, you've probably seen this everywhere, it's Christian Dior, and they come in all different shapes and sizes. So there's this one, and there's this one, this is darker, they're, they're different, I know they're different sizes, but they're also slightly different products. So this is um, Christian Dior J'adore. Apparently the most popular perfume in the world. Not sure how I feel about wearing that, if half the world's wearing it, but there you go. Um, and um, this is Law. So this is, it's rich, it's like an amber nectar scent, and by golly, it's good for the evening. <laughs> It's floral, but it's very jasmine, and it is very strong, it's very potent. You only need the tiniest, the tiniest, see it's all nearly all gone, it's the tiniest amount. Whew, but when you put it on, makes you want to hold your head up, <laughs> and then you feel really, it's just a, such a beautiful smell. But yeah, definitely not for the day, I wouldn't wear this for the day. This is um, like 100 quid for 40 mil, so 
It's pretty expensive, isn't it? But if you have that on the shelf just for evenings, perfect. Yeah, the J'adore Law. It is an eau de parfum, 40 ml, 100 quid. Super strong. Super, super strong. Um, not for everyone, but for me, I like it for in the evening, and you only have to apply it once, because this is going to last all evening, trust me, and probably the morning you'll be smelling it as well. Um, it's floral, and I'd say, yeah, the jasmine scent, really jasmine, but very nice, very beautiful, if you want to feel extra strong, and smell extra strong. This is the one that I also like to wear a lot every day. <laughs> And it's just when I give a quick spritz when I go out the door. I know it should be behind the ears, behind the knees, um, on the elbows, in the belly button, apparently. But I just like to put it on my back of my, back of my neck, a spritz in my hair, I, I rub it on my wrists, and I do spray a little bit on my clothes. And it gives it a lovely smell. And this is a blood orange, more of a black... Uh, I'm sure you know the bottle anyway. This has scents of a blood, blood orange magnolia, slightly vanilla. I don't normally like perfumes with food smells, for obvious reasons, um, but this uh, has a little hint of white vanilla, which I don't mind. And it doesn't last all day. You need to sort of re reapply it every five hours. But this is a great buy. It's, it's available everywhere. And my last one, and I'm giving my top secret because not many people wear this, but it is a simply stunning, beautiful, I've spoken about it before in the other video, but I'm gonna say it again. It's called Le Labo, mm, and my scent is the Noir 29. Everyone's wearing Sambal 33. To me, it's way too strong um, for me. My friend wears it, he's a guy, it's great, but I think it's too strong for women personally. This is the most stunning smell you've ever smelled in your life, I swear. It is the most beautiful smell. Now this ain't cheap, let me tell you. This is not cheap. Um, I think it's about 100, 165 pounds for 100 milliliters. And the thing, the reason I like um, this particular scent is it has like bergamot that is potent and femi feminine. And it's got a sense of like um, wood, um, it's definitely musk again. There's a theme. Can you see a theme? There's a theme of musk, isn't there, in my perfumes? Um, cedarwood, musk, vetiver. Yeah, it's that musk. It's that musk that I like. Sometimes I read these perfume notes and I don't know what they're on about. Like, what is vetiver? What on earth is it? I can only describe vetiver as having like a beautiful woody smell. If you know already, then you're a better person than I. But yeah, it's kind of a woody, earthy smell. The reason I love it is also there's a hotel in New York called The Edition, the New York Edition. There's one in London as well, the London Edition. And it's on Madison Square, uh, Madison Square Park. And the whole hotel smells amazing. It smells absolutely amazing. And you get your little um, shampoos and this, that and the other. You know, all those things that I like to take and I get really excited. And they have candle smell. And I said to the people, what is this smell? This smell is outrageous, it's everywhere. They said, oh, everyone's always asking. They said, this company, Le Labo, made the scent specifically for the hotel. But they said to me that if I pop into Le Labo, this Noir 29 is very similar. And so goeth the story. And I don't know if you can see, if I get my... <laughs> So when I, I flew back to London after being in the hotel and went straight to went straight to the Labo and um, they make it in Malibu and they also do it online for you. But I, I highly recommend Google the Labo. There's loads of shops in London. Go there and smell their scents. They will. Oh, the sun's come out and I've gone dark. There you go. And Google the Labo. It will blow your mind. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to my second Pilates class and um, I'm looking forward to it. I just want to get that stomach in, you know? Suck that stomach in once and for all. 
Um, anyway, beautiful people, yeah, so perfume for me is a way of doing something nice for yourself. I've hopefully given a range of prices, and you can a different range of sizes. It's like doing something nice for yourself. It's gonna last without having to spend loads and loads of money. And just makes me feel good, so that's why I like to do it. So have a wonderful day. Give me the video a like if you haven't already, and subscribe. Tell me what perfumes you enjoy wearing, and I will speak to you all tomorrow. Big kiss.